Hello students, welcome back to the next session. In the previous video, we have discussed about domain name and some brief introduction of URL was discussed. Today, we are going to discuss something more about URL better. Okay, so when we are talking about URL, so it stands for again, we have already discussed that uniform resource location, locator or whatever it is. So, in today's video, we will discuss something about URL mode. So, it is used to, what is the purpose of using better uniform resource locator? It is used to specify addresses on the world wide web. Okay. So, the main purpose is that all the domain name are having a specific address. Okay. And this url is used to specify those addresses on the world wide web so it is a if we will talk about url then it is a fundamental network identification for any resource connected to the web it may be a hypertext page it may be images and sound files so when we will have a general format for url it may be something like this bit okay so the first one this http means what it indicates a protocol okay then next one is www is what better it is a host name so when we are talking about protocol that is better http what it specifies it specifies that how information from the link is transferred here we are having which protocol better here we are having http protocol which stands for hypertext transfer protocol so it is the it, this protocol is compatible with most web browsers okay nowadays we are having https for security purpose so this protocol is just used for what for we are when we are uh, browsing the website then this protocol is being used okay so next www is the host name which stands for world wide web and then we are having a domain name in the particular example here we are having the domain name as bit a example example is the domain name and uh, next one dot com dot com is the top level domain name and the last one index.html it is a name of file okay so it may happen that index.html may be a part of our url or it may not be our part of url suppose we are typing only www.example.com then by default again a default page will be opened and if you will keep the name of the file again then only then also that page will be opened so it is not compulsory that we will have a file name in, included in our URL. Okay. So this is the general format of a particular URL. So when we are having URL beta, so these URLs are linked with specific image for text of the web pages whose hyperlinks redirect you to associate link to the new web page. Suppose when we are clicking on google.com and when we are searching a particular keyword and after clicking the search button, it gives us a new web page. It means that this new web page is hyperlinked to the previous web page. So each web page is hyperlinked with another web page. All publicly accessible hyperlinked website web pages form information space called World Wide Web. So all these web pages are interconnected and makes a website and all these hyperlinked websites form what better world wide web. So all the web pages hyperlinked together under a same domain name. Remember same domain name for fully qualified domain name is called a website. For example, I am having one 
url www.example.com/index.html then www.example.com/gallery.html now see here we are having domain name common we are having example as domain name if we are having the domain name common then all the files which will have the same domain name will make our website okay so it is clear to you what is web page and what is website so basically all the web pages hyperlink together under a same domain name is called a website bitte now see here in the diagram i have explained the same thing for example we are having website 1 and the domain name is what bitte example and top level domain is .com so basically the url is example.com here we are having its web page and suppose one of the web page is www.example.com/index.html and another one is gallery.html we may have further web pages also when we will click on index.html the next page web page will be open it means that this web page bitte this about.html will this web page is now hyperlink to this one because when we are clicking upon uh, clicking upon this one we are having this new web page similarly when we will click on gallery.html in any particular image then that image will be open okay so if you will see here here now you see all the domain name are common here also domain name example is there here example is also there here example is also there here example is also there it means if dom all the domain name is common and for all these web pages for which domain name are common then those web pages belong to a particular website okay so similarly here we are having another website that is the domain name under which domain name under sample domain name so again web pages are index.html and here again about us.html so if you see if the domain name is common then collection of that all the pages will known as what but a website and all these websites interlink together give us what world wide web and now see how it works bitte when we are talking about this one how it works let us have how this websites work so suppose we have already all the files created with us and we want to upload it in our server so how to do that and how to get access of those files how this process occur so once all the files are ready for a particular website these files are being uploaded in the server okay and once this files are uploaded in the server now the role of web hosting comes into existing now what is web hosting and what are web host let us discuss so the web uh, host are some of the companies bitte which give us some space to upload our files on the server it is not like that anyone can upload the web uh, the pages in the server we have to buy some space in the server and those space are provided by some web host okay some companies like godaddy and those companies provide some space okay so once our files are being uploaded to the server after purchasing the disk space disk space from the web host now what will happen we have to send a request to the server for any particular web page you want to see okay and then the server will give us the response back to us and that web page will be open to you so the process of providing space into the server is known as web hosting so this is the whole process which includes for uploading web pages to the server and getting access to that web pages okay so let us have the review that to make a website visible on the internet all the files of that website must be stored in a place which is called as server then for that we need to buy some space on the server from company like godaddy hostgator and these companies are known as web host once all the files of a website stored on the server it is the responsibility of the web host that those files must be accessible to the browser 
as soon as the server received the request from a web browser. And then service provided by web host is called web hosting. We have already seen all these four points in the previous diagram. So all together on internet web host provides a server to store hyperlink web pages publicly accessible with URL forming world wide web. Okay. So I hope it, uh, all the topics discussed today will be clearly understood to you. If still you are having any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. Thank you for watching Mitte. 